Uh, Salakia. Definitely Salakia for that, because uh, I was uh, had a phone call on one of my family members. So, yeah, you know, this is uh, part two of this uh, sit-down lesson of uh, NATO sending more weapons in their support of uh, Ukraine in that region over there with the current ongoing tensions and ongoing crisis of war between NATO and uh, Ukraine. And, you know, I'm going to go back into the Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 8, you know, in reference to of a potential talks of uh, with Vladimir Putin and the president of Ukraine, Zelensky, according to reports, you know, if the reports are true or not, because a lot of times you're going to have rumors, you know, rumors are true and the rumors are uh, not real. So... <laughs> I'm going to bring the scripture out. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 8. And it reads through the Holy Scriptures. A time to love, and a time of hate, and a time of war, and a time of peace. Right? Because, you know, we are definitely living in a time of war right now. As you see that around the world, and it relates to other article that I just brought out and did a sit down lesson on as well too you see heavy clashes between uh, the, the government and political leaders and security forces and local authorities over there in Myanmar you know the clashes have been going on for nine days straight and you got uh, clashes and wars over there over there in uh, Yemen the Saudi the Saudi Arabia coalition versus the Yemen forces, you know, those are significant of uh, signs of war, of war, you know. And then you got the classes of worlds of the people, you got that as well, too. So, you know, a lot of many different activities around the world that's going on that's war related, you know, especially with the current situation with the Ukraine. Uh, Russia border crisis, that as well too. Those are, uh, even though they're trying to find solutions to de-escalate it and calm tensions down, but currently right now at the moment, which is that's signs of a war, you know, because we're not in the time of uh, peace right now. You might have certain instances, in certain situations, you might get to the point of a uh, peace in the time of love and all that. Well, you know, currently, you know, we're definitely in a time of war right now, you know. Just like in the book of Ecclesiastes 3 and 8 uh, says, you know, you know, we're, you know, I'm going to read it again for edification's sake again, you know. Ecclesiastes 3 and 8, and a time of love, and a time of hate, and a time of war, and a time of peace. And we are definitely currently right now at the moment as we speak, you know, we're living in a time of war. You know, especially with all these different activities, which is war uh, related. You know, like I mentioned before, and I broke it down in reference to the Ecclesiastes 3 and 8, you know. And it's going to continue to be like this, you know, you know, because this is going to be a balance. On certain instances, you're going to have time of, of love, then certain instances, you're going to have time of peace, and then you're going to have certain instances, time of war, because, you know, this is a balanced thing that's going on in the planet Earth right now, you know. So expect to see of these things to be on the balance scale like this. Like I mentioned before in the book of Ecclesiastes 3 and 8, you know. And so with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. Part 1 and Part 2 of this video of the news article that I just brought out from RT.com uh, in reference to... NATO sending more weapons to Ukraine. The announce came on Friday, you know. So expect to see these uh, things to increase on a balanced scale, you know, of a time of war and a time of peace, you know, and a time of love. And we're going to see these uh, things that I just named in the book of Ecclesiastes 3 and 8, you know. And right now at the moment, we are definitely living in a time of war, you know. 
Right now, you know, at the moment, and expect to see for it to increase, you know, in these last days, you know. Like the scripture said, in the last days, there should be perilous times because we are in those stages. And right now, in the time of uh, perilous times, you know. And so with that, once again, I hope this is edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of the hour while you have a shot. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Hakim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Hakim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom.